So today we're cooking for a lot of people so um, most of the work that we're doing right now is prep work it actually comes together really really quickly and it's not a hard dish at all to make but it's super yummy and it can feed a crowd I will reduce the recipe and put it down in the description box below so that if you don't have to make for so many people then you can still create this same dish for a much smaller amount of people, like four to six pork chops or something. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've got my pork chops here. I'm gonna go ahead and season them up. I'm gonna start, so I just season one side and then I season the other side when they hit the pan. Speaking of that, I'm gonna go ahead and get my pan heated up. I've got a couple tablespoons of olive oil and a couple tablespoons of butter down in my pan and we're gonna season this side of our pork chops. So we're just using a little Italian seasoning. And y'all saw I took a pork loin and just sliced it into um, hopefully even size slices. <laughs> I like that better than buying a pack of pork chops because I don't, I don't always like being able to not see what the pork chops look like underneath. And this way I get them the thickness that I want. Now, some of them look janky. That's all right. They'll still eat just the same. I'll probably put that on my plate. And then next, we're going to do paprika, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. Looks like I need to grind my pepper up some more. I like to buy the big bottle of Sam's pepper and grind it myself, but it looks like I didn't do a great job this time. That'll be all right. I just feel like it tastes fresher and that might just be a mental thing so we're just going to not overcrowd the pan but place these down in the pan season side down and let them sear for about four to five minutes on each side now that our pork chops are all done well to the point we need them to be y'all see all those bits in the bottom of the pan we're going to use all of those mushrooms that we sliced up to soak all of that up and this is what we're going to make our sauce with and yes I know that looks like a ton of mushrooms but you got to think how many pork chops y'all saw me slice again the reduced recipe will be down in the description box so you can make it for a much smaller amount we're just going to cook these for about two minutes and scrape the bottom while we're doing that y'all see how those mushrooms are sweating and releasing that juice and making it perfect and easy to scrape up the bottom of this so we're gonna go let those go just another few seconds we're gonna add in the rest of our seasonings which is not much because this picked up all of those seasonings from our pork chops off the bottom of the pan so I'm gonna add in some chicken bouillon cubes some minced garlic some heavy cream. I'm gonna mix this all around and let it start to simmer and reduce that heavy cream. Now that we're starting to thicken up and we've got a nice simmer, we're just going to lay our pork chops back in and let them soak up some of that creamy broth while we make the rest of our vegetables and everything. So I already have some rice cooking in um, my Ninja. And we're going to just season and grill those um, zucchini and squash on the stove top while this simmers for a few more minutes. You could also roast your zucchini and squash in the oven if you want to do that. 
it's a lot less hands-on and will help you get other things ready if you need. Now the juice that's down in these pork chops, you want to pour that in here as well. I forgot to put in one of the best parts of this recipe. Now normally you would do this before you put your pork chops back in just so you can mix it all together better. But we're going to sprinkle in some Parmesan. This will help thicken things up but not also give that nice salty and cheesy element. We're just going to turn this off and let them sit. They are ready. And they will stay nice and warm with the lid over them because the veggies won't take but just a few minutes. Alright y'all, now we're going to get started on our veggies. So I've been using this center burner for a lot more lately. So we're going to do our veggies on that today. So I'm just spraying it with some, I can't believe it's not butter. You could also use some olive oil spray. Just be careful because this stuff is flammable. And we're just going to take our veggies and lay them down. I'm just going to spray them on the top also so our seasonings will stick. I'm just going to season it with a little bit of Cajun seasoning and Italian seasoning. And there we go y'all. Super simple and delicious meal that you can easily minimize or cut down or increase for what you need. So I just put a few slices of zucchini and squash for each person. And there's our pork chop, our mushrooms, and our tower of rice covered in our yummy, creamy gravy. So hope y'all give it a try. Let us know what you think. And if you don't like pork chops, like I'm not a huge fan of pork chops, but they're a very affordable and can go a long way. You could switch this out for chicken also, and it is just as yummy. Thank y'all for joining us, and I hope y'all had a good time. See y'all next time. Bye.